day two, three, day three of Light the World. Okay, so today, um, I think I have my thoughts. So, I was asked to talk about Jesus' life and the things he did in his life, the teachings he gave, the miracles he performed, the atonement, and that is what I'm going to talk about. Not all of them at once because that's a lot, but today I'm going to talk about one of the miracles he performed, and this is... In the New Testament, so I'm looking in the King James Version of the Bible, um, but it's pretty much the same story in other versions as well. Um, okay, so in the King James Version, in John chapter 11, it talks about Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. And, obviously, this is a huge miracle. Like, this guy was dead, and Jesus was like, no, you will live. And he was like, whoa, okay. Right? So, like, this is a big deal. This is, like, a big miracle that he performed. And so we're going to talk about it today. So if you want to follow along or read the story, you can. You are welcome to. It's John chapter 11, verses 1 through 44. So it's kind of a long reading, but it's really good. Um, if you haven't read it before, I suggest you go read it, or else this might not make a whole lot of sense. But either way, that is where this story is in the scriptures. So... The basis of this story is there's this guy, Lazarus, and he was super sick, and they were like, he's going to die. And they, so his, Jesus was told that Lazarus was going to die. And Jesus loved Lazarus. Jesus loved his whole, Lazarus's family. So it was like Lazarus and then his two sisters, Mary and Martha, and he loved all of them. And they were like, Lazarus is dying. Can you come help him? And Jesus was like, it's okay. Give me a minute. I'm going to stay here and finish what I need to do. So he stayed where he was for two more days. And then they went and got him. And he went back to go see Lazarus, right? But he was like, guys, Lazarus is dead. You know this, right? And they're like, yes, we know he's dead. But we're going to bring you to him anyway. And so Jesus went to go see Lazarus. And um, by the time he got there, you know, everyone was crying, everyone was mourning, grieving the loss of Lazarus, right? And um, after he had gotten there, they, Mary and Martha came out to him and they were like, yo, if you were here earlier, you wouldn't have died. But we understand that you are the Lord and that you can do, the, do amazing things. Um, and so they had faith in him. They had faith that whatever was supposed to happen to Lazarus and their family would happen. And so Jesus sat, he comforted them, he was with them, and then they were like, he was like, okay, take me to Lazarus. And so they went to where Lazarus was laying, like where he was buried. Um, and he was like, okay, open it. And they're like, no, he's been dead for four days. He smells horrible. He, we're not, we shouldn't open it. And Jesus was like, no, open it. And so they opened it and Jesus was like, Lazarus, come here. And Lazarus was like, okay, and came. And everyone was like, whoa, that's a miracle, right? That's a huge miracle. Lazarus was dead. And then Jesus was like, no, he's not. Like, I will, I will bring him back, right? And... There's a lot, there's a lot in this story that can make it hard to comprehend at times. So a lot happened in this story that a lot of people overlook. Because obviously the big miracle that's actually supposed to be looked at is Jesus laid, raised Lazarus from the dead. That's a big, that is the miracle. But we're going to dive in to this story a little bit. And understand why he did what he did. So, um, at the time, like at this time that Jesus was alive, everyone believed that after three days the spirit left the body and like they were gone, gone, right? So Jesus waited until the fourth day to raise Lazarus to um, disprove the, that the spirit left the body and to um, 
begin to lay ground for what the resurrection was. The resurrection, which happened after the atonement and after Christ died for us, um, it is that once we die, our bodies and our souls are reunited in heaven. Um, so it's not that the spirit leaves the body and the body just stays buried in the ground. Like, obviously, the body stays buried in the ground. But, you know, the resurrection is when the spirit and the body are reunited. Um, so Jesus waited to the fourth day to disprove that rule and to prove what the resurrection is and that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have bodies of flesh and blood. That's why Jesus did that. Also, we are going to talk about, there's a section in here. It's verses like, we're going to say like 32 to... Yeah, I'm just going to start at 32 and I'm going to read for you guys. So this is after Jesus is back. He's already saw Martha and so now it's Mary heard that he was there. And so the Mary got up and ran to see Jesus. And then it says, Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have, blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Jesus therefore again, groaning in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. So then the rest of the story is when he's like, Yo, open the grave, like, Lazarus is alive, right? Um, and I just wanted to talk about that part because this part is not necessarily a miracle, but it is definitely a showing of Christ's character. And when you think of the attributes and the characteristics of Christ, obviously it's loving, caring, you know, he's all-knowing, he's perfect, and he died for us he sacrificed himself so that we had the opportunity to be resurrected and live with our heavenly father and jesus christ again and i will talk more about that when we talk about the atonement but this is really really important because it says jesus wept can you imagine how big of an impact that is jesus knew lazarus was going to be fine Jesus knew that he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead and that Lazarus was going to be with them again. Jesus knew that he had died and that it was also really, really sad for them. He understood the immortal perspective, but also the mortal perspective of this crazy thing that had just happened to their family. They had lost their brother. They were devastated. They were sad. They were grieving. They were heartbroken, right? And Jesus understood that. He didn't just say, oh, suck it up, everything's going to be fine. He gave the time and energy into crying and grieving with this family because he cared about them, he loved them, he loved Lazarus, and he understood how incredibly hard this experience was. And he was there to comfort them. He was there to cry with them. He was there to support and help them. And this is really important to me. It's, Jesus knows us. He knows our struggles. He knows what we're going through. He knows what it's like to be human. And it sucks, but he knows. And he knows how you dealt with something. He knows that your situation and your experience with something is different than someone else's even if it's your best friend like you guys go through it very differently and he knows how you guys go through it in individually and he knows that 
sometimes you just need a hug. Sometimes you just need the comfort and the peace of knowing that he understands what you're going through and he's grieving with you. And I don't know, I can't figure out how to emphasize enough how important that is. That he knows you. He knows what you are going through right now. He knows how you can deal with it, but he knows how it's going to end. And he's not here telling you, it's going to be fine, deal with it. He's telling you, I know this is really hard. And I know that you are struggling, but you need to know that I am here with you. And that I am here to comfort you and to guide you. And when you need something, I will give it to you. And that's just amazing, you know? Like, it's just so comforting to know that there is someone in heaven who is cheering you on, who is holding your hand, who is holding you up when you can't feel like, when you feel like you can't stand anyway. And he is crying with you. I could talk about this all day. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that, that Jesus performed the amazing miracle of bringing someone back from the dead. He has that power given to him from God to perform these miracles. And when we have faith and when we know that Christ can perform these miracles and when we know that miracles still exist today when we have the faith that we need to push us through life and to understand that miracles do happen then you will receive miracles miracles are based on faith they don't create it remember that and Jesus loves you and he understands you and he is crying with you. He is here in every aspect of your life. He is standing beside you, helping you push through all of it. And yeah, so just remember those, okay? Um, this is the second day of Light the World, third day of Light the World. If you guys have something you want me to talk about, put it in the comments. Um, I will have a link in the description for comingtochrist.org. And if you guys want to look at that for Light the World stuff, I will also be putting a link in the description for a picture of Jesus if you need one to hang up in your room or in your house. I will put a link in the description so that you guys will have access to a picture of Jesus. Um, I hope you guys know how much he loves you, and I hope you guys know how much I love you, and I hope that you guys will not hesitate to read out, reach out to me if you need anything. You're welcome to email me. You can DM me on Instagram. Um, I have two accounts. Uh, there's cfelmly2, which I post a quote on every morning. You can DM me through that one, or Felmly Constance is my normal one. I think, I think that's the name. And if you guys need to DM me through Instagram, you're welcome to do that too. Um, because I care about you all and I want to make sure that... No, just kidding. It's just Constance only. Anyway, and I want to make sure that you guys have what you need in life to succeed. I'm here for you guys. So yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow.